Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over the Caesar cipher and statistical frequency analysis. So, the history of the Caesar cipher. The Caesar cipher is a method of cryptography and it is named after Julius Caesar who used it to communicate with his army around 100 BC. Uh, it's, the f it's one of the first recorded uses of cryptography and it is a type of substitution cipher. A substitution cipher is a cipher which takes one unit of plain text and converts it into one unit of cipher text. So how it works, um, essentially each letter of the alphabet is assigned a position, each, uh, so A would be 1, B would be 2, and though that is um, that position is then shifted by um, a determined amount. So for example, uh, the letter C, if the shift was plus three, then uh, or key number was plus three, then C would be shifted down to F, and the C and the process would be applied to every letter in the plain text to convert it into uh, cipher text. And in the example in the image there, um, the shift is actually a negative number. Um, so E is. Um, E is a uh, is position five on the um, alphabet, and it is being shifted to um, B. It's being it's being in encrypted to B. So the uh, cipher, the no not the cipher, the shift uh, in the example is negative three. So it works both ways. So, this is just an example with a uh, word. So, uh, the name Sally, if run through the Caesar cipher with a shift of plus three, is con is um, is uh, encrypted into V D O O B, and as you can see on that w on that last letter of Sally, Y has a um, value of um, has a has a um, position of uh, 25 on the alphabet and if you uh, shift that by 3 you would you would make it 28 however there's no 28th character of the alphabet so that is um, going to uh, essentially wrap round back to the start so 28 minus 26 is 2 so that is why y is uh, encrypted into uh, b there because B's uh, position is 2 on the alphabet. So the Caesar cipher is um, one of the easiest uh, ciphers to um, uh, one of, it's one of the um, easier ciphers to uh, to uh, beat or um, um, decrypt the cipher text of um, and we can do this fairly easily with uh, statist statistical frequency analysis. Um, statistical frequency analysis works on the principle that although the letters themselves change, the frequency does not. So if we go back to that position, that example there, Sally, um, there's two L's in that word there, and there is two O's in the ciphertext. So the frequency of the uh, letters does not change um, in the encrypted ciphertext and thus we can um, using the knowledge that um, the most common letter of the English alphabet is E um, followed by A then R then L then O um, we can then um, determine the shift value the shift key of the um, ciphertext, and thus we're able to decrypt it by reverse re by reverting the uh, um, shift. So that is um, statistical frequency analysis. I'm going to show you an example um, in Python of statistical frequency analysis. So I'll cut to that now. So we're in the uh, Python Caesar cipher script here. And my plain text is going to be a movie script, 
and what this is going what this script is going to do is convert the um, script the the plain text into ciphertext by a shift of three um, and then the script is going to parse through the uh, ciphertext and it's going to um, essentially count each uh, letter and then produce a um, graph of frequency for the letters. So if we run this now, um, we can see that, um, ignore the capital letters, um, we can see that lowercase h is the most frequent uh, letter in the ciphertext. So what does that tell us? Well, it means that h is meant to be e. So we can then deduce that the uh, shift is um, plus 3. How can we deduce that? Well, we know that um, H ha is position 8 on the alphabet. And if you subtract 3 from 8, you get 5. Now, 5 is the position of uh, E on the alphabet. So, as you can see, um, by carrying out that, we now deduce the shift is 3. Um, so yes, statistical frequency analysis is great, um, as it allows you to, uh, essentially, uh, know the shift of the, uh, Caesar cipher. Of course, in Caesar's time, um, this would have been extremely hard to do, um, and thus it wasn't, um, cracked, uh, via this method I believe it was um, the cipher of the shift had to keep changing due to um, uh, people leaking the actual number itself but not the uh, it wasn't um, deduced using this method so it was relatively secure for the time um, but that's um, Caesar cipher and statistic fre statistical frequency analysis thank you for watching